make arrangement for the setting up of the entire tents according to the specifications and sizes of the used tents. At first, carry out staking out at the setting up site, and all the chassis of pedestals must be in one horizontal line. The uneven one shall be levied up in advance. Confirm the positions of all the pedestals so as to ensure the sides of spine and set walls. After completing orientation, fix each of the pedestal of chassis to supporting tray or ground according to the appreciable fixing method, with each of bearing point not less than one one thousand five hundred kilograms. Use the insulation bearing a cover of the bearing fix method. Use expansion bolt to fix. Connect the seam blind pedestal hole or cement thickness of the cement ground is not less than 15 centimeters. Each of the chassis of the pedestal use at least four expansion bolts. Finally, use steel chassis to fix. Connect the steel blind pedestal hole of King Tower to the ground with steel chassis, with the pointed end of which corresponds to the holes on the pedestal. Knock into the bottom by hammer with at least four steel chassis on each of the pedestal. According to the connection relation and setting up positions of the various parts, put the materials of various parts on the joints of corresponding assumed lines. Align the pinholes of interior piece of King Tower with those of pedestal and insert into the cylindrical pin. Then climb with R-type card, going on like that. Complete all the connection assembly. After assembling the king tower and the oblique beam and leading the whole side, tension with bolts. Insert the connection column of the ridge into the left and right oblique beam and tension with bolts. Use the first group of frame and last group of frame to install the center post of gable. Make the in internals of right angle end of the gable center post upward the line with the selector holes of even F connection corn and connect with bolts. Install two hosting belts on the oblique beams respectively. Use transaction equipment to interact the first group of frames through correct and safe connection to transaction cable and the oblique beam. When erecting the first group of frame, cross brace must be used to fix. Connect the cross brace with the pedestal at first and lock with critical pin and slot pin. Then lift the another end to connect to the corresponding holes of the connection plate on the king tower and tendon with bolts. Hitching the hook end of a square top in the corresponding buckle of the erect frame in advance. After erecting the second group of frame, then left the other end of H in the corresponding block. The left and right side shall be hitched correspondingly.
Install another cross brace, which shall be installed on both flights correspondingly. A pair of cross brace shall be installed respectively on both sides of said well of every other three large tents. Things goes on like that. The cross brace must be installed on the units of tents from beginning to the end. Hitch the hook end of roofing square top in the blackly of the oblique beam in advance. Then use special fork rod to lift the other end of the square top to hitch in the blackly of the ob oblique beam on the end. The installation of the another square tops and the erection of all the frame goes on like that. Take care that the hook of the square top must be laid enter into blackly completely. A firing off can be caused to result in the damage of personnel. Frames of M and G can also be erected artificially according to ten span. Put the top awning under each of unit. Open the package of awning and put the awning on the prepared mat so as to avoid folding. Throw two special draw. Cords to the other side of the roofing of the unit. Then connect the drawn cords to the iron ring on both sides of awning. The other end pull the two ropes at the same time. When pulling to the oblique beam of roofing, respectively, insert the straight part of on the both sides of awning into the corresponding grooves of the oblique beam at the same time without sliding out. Penetrate the stretch rod of top awning on the both sides when pulling to a certain position. The center of of the E stretch rod of top awning connecting the two units need to be perentitled into short rod and tented with tension screws. The other roof awning shall be installed according to the same way. Adjust the positions of center and set post. Hitch the hook head end into the brackets of the center set post. The other end will be hitched in the corresponding. Adjust the positions of center, which perpendicular to ground, and use the corresponding bearing way to fix. Connect the ground grader and pedestal chassis and put wall. Both the side wall connection post and the side wall bearing post of glass wall and hard wall, and connect the, all the connection posts completely. Insert the straight handle of the upper connections post of T glass wall and hard wall into a subtent tube, and insert the downside of T type post into ground grader. Connect all the T type connection posts completely. Erect the glass wall to put on the parent stout ground grader, and put both sides into two connection posts and fix. Well, with special clips of glass wall.
Install door head plate on the upper side of glass door. Then put which into the in internal side of connection post of the upper side of glass door. Then fix well with special clamps of glass wall. Install all the glass wall, hard wall, and glass door like this.